Hey, it is your buddy, Peace and Harmony, with you here today. And much love going out to the Empowered Harmonizers. I want to zoom in and focus in on a very important key concept to working successfully through a relationship with a psychopath, a malignant narcissist, or a covert narcissist, a relationship that has been plagued and typified by an emotional manipulator, someone who might have lied uh, pathologically to you, um, either to your face or behind your back, uh, said things to emotionally manipulate you, uh, told you that they were going to do one thing and did another, living by a lot of broken promises, uh, not living up to their end of the deal, um, being less than honest with you and being emotionally manipulative. And we see this in the cluster B personalities because of a sense of entitlement and just a feeling of pathological sense of superiority of self, either in the case of the covert narcissist or the psychopath as well. They just feel that they are above and beyond the law and morals and they're lacking in empathy. So oftentimes they will delude people and, and take them down a path with which they do they have no intention of upholding a commitment or a promise. And this can lead to some very grave consequences for yourself or someone who's been in a relationship with them, either on a personal or professional level, because at all levels, this is instilled. So there's not really any one situation which is immune or safe from this type of person especially in the psychopath, they have no problem with breaking the rules, the laws, um, you know, over, you know, setting their sights above and beyond what would be professional regulation, personal regulation, societal regulation and norm. They feel above it all. Um, they have a cold calculating way of dealing with people and making decisions such that it leaves other people as a victim feeling that they have lost um, lots of time, years and decades of your life, uh, feeling like you've lost your heart to this person, lost your trust, lost your innocence to these people. And then uh, subconsciously, you then begin to tell yourself a story that you are not good enough, you are not lovable, you cannot trust life, you cannot trust other people, um, you must forever be alone. You must be isolated. You must keep your eyes cast on the floor ahead of you. And so there's a real loss of trust in life and a gray cloud, a dark cloud begins to hover over everything. And this can become a very debilitating way of life. But this really becomes the story that you tell yourself subconsciously. And this begins to play over and over and over again. And then your identity is created upon this. And oftentimes it's a very negative or disempowered story. So I encourage you to take a look at this story that you're telling yourself again and again and again. I'm not pretty enough. I'm not smart enough. I'm not rich enough. I am too weak. I'm too sensitive. I take care of people too much. Um, I will never be happy. I will never be fulfilled. I will never have intimacy ever again. I am an overeater. I'm a drug addict. I'm an alcoholic. These are all the stories that you tell yourself. I am a victim of child abuse. I am victimized. All these are stories that you are telling yourself that perpetuates the same story again and again and again. So people then become stuck in these maladaptive identities. I am a smoker. I am an overeater. You're identifying with the negative validation and your I, I am is then caught up or ensnared in the story. So you need to identify the story and then disengage, separate yourself from that negative story and say, okay, that is the story that was set up years ago, months ago, week, weeks ago, or moments ago. And that story is no longer serving me. I'm now going to separate myself and my feelings from that story that was set up. I want and I am feeling something new. And I'm making choices on a new I am in a new sense of empowerment that I'm taking with myself 
and creating my internal vibrations, my feelings, my emotions from this new state. And I'm embracing this now and I'm living in the now and I'm empowered in the now and I'm no longer living from that story that was set up years ago. That feeling, that negative feeling that has been with me maybe for decades now. I'm now disengaging that feeling. I'm now debunking it. I'm now dissolving it. I'm now letting it become emulsified and let go into the universe and allowing the universe to recycle that negative energy. And I'm now bringing in positive energy and positive I am. And that's all there is. And I'm learning to identify with that and seeing the new choices that come about as such. And I'm allowing myself to exist in a peaceful, harmonious body and allowing myself to feel the calmness and the calm intensity that comes from that. So it's entering into that new energetic state so a new story can begin. It's very important to healing successfully through an emotionally manipulative relationship that was toxic with either a covert narcissist, a malignant narcissist, or a psychopath. It is your buddy, Peace and Harmony, with you here today. And I hope that these videos do help. Please share and please subscribe for more great tools, videos, discussions, and support.